Hello, and welcome to More Than Organized Monday. I'm Miriam, and today we are going to be talking about Simplify, specifically three areas of your life that we can really um, easily, quickly make a big difference in your day to day. And the perfect time to simplify is when life feels overwhelming. And so as soon as you feel overwhelmed, it's important to pause and say, what is the overwhelm from? Which stuff? Um, so let's talk about the three areas, right? We've got the physical things in your space and in your way and that need to be decluttered. Because the only way your stuff actually makes you feel overwhelmed is if you have too much of it. And if you aren't sure what to do with it and or are so worried about all the stuff you intended to do with it, that it's in your way now. So perfect time. Just look at things. And when you see that they're in your way, make a decision now. Even just 10 minutes a day of making decisions can help you get rid of the extra stuff in your way. And then you'll feel better, um, less overwhelmed. You will get reoriented to why you have things in the first place. So just know that every single time you let go of something, simplicity ensues, even if it's just for a few moments until the next thing that's overwhelming. But the basic thing is when you make a decision to let something go, it simplifies everything in your brain for a few seconds, and you can build on that. Um, each decision you make, whether it's to keep or let go, a decision made means there's less overwhelm, there's more control, and it builds momentum for all the stuff you're working on, okay? Um, sorry, my teleprompter is not doing its thing today. I gotta see my notes. Um, then there's your paper. And technically, paper is part of stuff, right? It is the things um, on the pieces of paper that are important, not the paper itself, usually. So it's slightly different in that you can't always make a decision quickly when it comes to information on the paper. But what you can do is learn to accept the fact that paper is going to be a constant, ongoing, curating, and consolidating process in your life. And so each piece of paper that you can let go of is great. Then there's going to be a whole bunch of papers that you need to look at a little bit more closely. And that's where the curate and consolidate comes in. Fewer piles, less overwhelm. Uh, best version of information, less overwhelm. So constantly curating and um consolidating allows you to become more aware of the information you need to keep handy in your own life. Avoiding it, especially things like your financial papers, your statements, bills to pay when you're short on money, all those things can feel like, let's just put them away for now. But the power comes from knowing what's on that paper and why you're keeping it and letting go of all the excess pieces of paper in those statements and bills. The pieces of paper, they're just there for security in the envelope or that are market, marketing materials in the envelope that you didn't need in the first place or is all the extra coupons you get on your way back from Walgreens. Seriously, Walgreens, every single time, three coupons. No need to do that. I have an app. You told me the app would save me from that. It is not yet, but you're getting the point. Let go of the things that you're not going to use in a more timely manner and keep up to date with the information so you know which things you're actually juggling and which things you just think you might be juggling. Often it's there's nothing to do or act on in the pieces of paper around your your spots. So constantly continue to consolidate and curate the paper. Um it's also just the paper. It's the perfect way to let go of the redundancies and the excess. 27 versions of your favorite lasagna recipe can't be all favorites, right? Maybe you just pick your favorite and stick with that lasagna for now. Um, okay, third area of your life that's easy to eliminate overwhelm is looking at your schedule, your time. How cluttered is that schedule? 
Do you always feel like you're just running from one thing to the next? And how are you going to um, keep that from happening every day? You got to actually evaluate all the things you've committed to and look at what is serving you right now. What can you actually participate in because you want to, not just because you said yes to? Because it turns out you can't actually do everything all at once, all the time. It's impossible for everyone. The trick to maintaining less overwhelm in your schedule is to only participate in those activities that you love or that help you get to where your dreams and desires want you to go. So let go. And I do realize there will be some things you committed to that you have to finish before you can leave, that you need to say no to and um, finish up your commitment level to that. But that's okay. Saying no now and knowing you're only doing it for another six weeks, another three months, whatever it is, allows you to free up that energy and start figuring out what you're going to fill that time with in the future. So time to decide what is relevant now and works for you in this stage of life and moves you towards those dreams and desires. All right, that's what I've got for today. Take care of the overwhelm a little more in the moment. We're talking about simplifying your life, your day-to-day, by taking a look at the physical stuff, the paper stuff, and the time stuff. Let's just call paper information, shall we? Simplify those three areas in your life one little bit at a time, and you will see incremental improvements making exponential results. All right. In the meantime, I want you to have a delightful day. And like, follow, share, tell all your friends, check out more insights into simplifying your life on the blog at morethanorganized.net slash blog. And you can check out the One Minute Mail Solution Kit too, because it is what's going to get you started on dealing with that paper information. Okay, see you next week. Have a delightful day.